My name is Arwen. I'm a used-to-be homeschooler that's now juggling the unfortunate side effects of being a teenager with the odd social construct of high school. This is Locke, my best friend and could-be soulmate. And that's my friend DC, his girlfriend. That's her twin brother Marvel that used to have a pretty big crush on me. And that's Etta, his secret admirer and my moral support. And speaking of moral supports, I'm Revlons. Life's a roller coaster, and all you can really do is sit back and enjoy it. You should come with me. It's a pretty exciting ride. Holy twin! Do we know them? Uh, those are uh, Etta's older twin sisters. Oh, all right. That's Dina, and that's Dana, and they're my twin sisters. Well, not mine as in me, it's just like, well, obviously I'm not a twin, but they're my older sisters and they're twins. I thought you were an only child. Oh, she wishes. Huh, re really? Never mentioned them before? Weird. I wonder why. Huh. And anyway, um, you're not going to introduce us to all of your... Friends? Uh, oh, um, well, that, that's Arwen, and DC, and, uh, Locke, and Revlon. Hey, losers. Surprise you're still showing your face around school. Oh, hey, Jezebel. Is that all the greeting I get? Oh, pity. Etta, is this another friend of yours? Uh, friend. Huh, that's funny. Didn't know you could make jokes. Huh. Who are you? As if you really need to ask. Well, there is a reason that I asked it. The name's Jezebel. That's funny, I've never heard that name before. Oh my gosh, there's two. Point is, I run the school. That's funny, because, uh, actually, that title goes to us. Oh, please. Who would follow you with that fashion sense? Our fashion sense? Oh, darling, look at what you're wearing. It came from us. So, I guess you would follow us with, well, this kind of fashion sense. Well, I, I... Oh, that's the bell. Can't be late to class on the first day. Let's go, Dana. Okay, Dina. Bye-bye. Anyway, we should probably get to... get to class. Come on. <gasps> Do you think that the nerd knows those two? Why do you think she never told us? Locke, you must have known. You're like her best friend. I thought so. I... I'm wrong, apparently. Weird. Okay, class. It's time to get to work. <gasps> Mrs. Fisher? Hello, Etta. Wait a minute. What are you doing here? You're a freshman teacher. Well, now I teach sophomores and juniors. Now, I wonder, let's see, who are we missing? We have Locke and Arwen. Uh, let's see, DC, Marvel. Is Marvel Cosmic here? He's not here, Mrs. Fisher. We, we're not sure where he is. I mean, I didn't walk with him today, but I just figured that he left before me, since he wasn't there when I was awake. Okay, well then, I'm gonna go ahead and mark him absent. Sorry I'm late. I'm just gonna go back here. Do you have a pass? Uh, nope. Sorry. 
Well, okay then, I'll just mark you as tardy. Uh, hi Marvel. Hey Yara. <laughs> Long time no see. I haven't... Well, we didn't... We never met up this summer. Uh, no we didn't. Sorry about that. I was... Very busy, you know. Hey, Marvel. Oh, yeah? I'm really digging the new outfit. It suits you. <laughs> well, I, I learned from the best. You certainly did. All right, it seems like all of you are incoming sophomores, except for one of you who is repeating this class. Valentina... Hey, thanks for shouting it out to the whole class. Oh, that's you. All right, Valentina. Tina's fine. All right, works for me. Fancy seeing you here. What are you doing in here? Shouldn't you be in a junior class? Gee, I know, right? <laughs> now the whole class knows that I'm a failure. Oh well, what else is new? Oh, please. This class is pretty cool for the most part. I know just about everyone in here. I think so. <laughs> anyway, you get nothing to worry about. They've all got far more skeletons in their closet than flunking sophomore English. Trust me. Okay, but... Did you really not know about Etta's sisters? Dead honest, I had no idea. I mean, I, I've even been over her house, like, multiple times for years. I had, I, I just, no idea. I just wonder why she didn't mention it to us. I mean, she knew we were going to meet them this year, and she didn't tell us? Well, maybe she hoped we'd never run into them, or never know that she was related to them. Yeah, but why? I don't know. I mean, maybe they don't get along? They seem to, well, kind of get along. Do you by chance have any secret siblings that I should know about? Ha ha, very funny. Alas, I do not. What about you? Yeah, I have a big brother. What? Wait a second. What? Did you know that Arwen has a brother? Wait a second. Wait, how did we not know about this? D does he go here? Do we know him? <laughs> no, silly. He's in college, and I don't really bring him up because he lives on the other side of the country, and... Well, we don't get to see him much. He's just not a common subject. Oh. Uh. Huh. Hmm. Maybe Etta having older sisters isn't so surprising then. I guess. Okay, I'm back. <sighs> the girls' bathroom was very full. <sighs> Etta, did you know Arwen had a brother? Uh, yeah. Wait, what? I said, uh, no, obviously not. You have a brother? Does he go here? Do we know him? Same. <sighs> no, he's in college. Oh, interesting. You must not get to see him a whole lot then. No, I don't. So I guess Marvel's not sitting with us today. No, he's sitting over there. Hmm. With the popular girls. Figures. Uh, hey, Etta, will you come out um, into the hallway with me? Huh? So, 
What's up? It's about Marvel. Oh, what about him? I think you need to move on from him. Move on? I don't... I don't think I'm following. Etta, you've been pining after him for over a year, and I think it's been longer than that. That's just how long I've been here. I'm only saying this because I don't want you to get hurt. It's too late for that, Arwen. I am hurt. I'm hurt because... Go ahead, Etta. Tell me what it is. It's... I know that... I know that... I know that Marvel's like this now because he fell in love with you, and you didn't return his feelings. I know you can't love someone that you don't love, even if it's to spare their heart. But part of me, the selfish part of me, it knows that because of you, Marvel will never look at me like he could have. And I know that if you'd have never come to the school, then Marvel would have eventually noticed me. I didn't think this at first. That's why I wasn't worried. I thought it was just a crush. But at Jezebel's party, it was apparent that he cared for you so much, and then he just... He's not like he was, and that selfish part of me knows that it's because of you. And I'm not holding this against you or anything, because I know it's not your fault, but I don't want to be friends. I can't be your friend. Not like this.